Welcome everybody to the 2021 Jean Blondel PhD Prize um, edition. This year, the jury, about um, jury, I'll say a bit more in a minute. This year, the jury awarded the prize to Andreas Huon, University College London, for his thesis entitled Grievances, Identity and Political Opportunity, the Effects of Corporate and Liberal Power Sharing on Ethnic con Conflict. I won't say anything about the thesis, other people are way better place to do that, but I would like to say a little bit about how we established the prize. So the Jean Blondel Prize is a prize for um, the best PhD in political science in Europe over the last year. We had 19 eligible nominations, and then we first uh, established a shortlist of these among those 19 candidates, and then the shortlist of candidates, the full PhD gets read by all jury members. The jury this year was composed by uh, David Farrell, University College Dublin. David Farrell is also the chair of the ECPR. Then another member of the jury was Thomas Zittel from the Goethe University um, in Frankfurt. We had Elisa Volpe on it from the University of Geneva and who was last year's winner. And then there's myself, Petra Meyer, University of Antwerp, and I'm sitting here as the chair of the prize. As I said before, I won't say anything about the content of the dissertation itself, but I would like to say that we were all very much impressed by the way in which uh, Andreas Yuan in his um, dissertation came up with a very uh, well thread and uh, nicely constructed main argument, which he really unfolded throughout his work um, overall. And what was really nice about his work that it was highly theoretical, um, with a lot of good illustrations, but what struck us especially was the way in which he made a very theoretical issue, which is socially important, but he made it also very accessible to non-involved readers. So his work is really easy to follow for a broad audience while being theoretically very, very um, high level and empirically very well developed. But as I said before, others can say way better things about the thesis than I can. Um, my name is Kristen Backe. I'm a professor of political science and international relations at UCL. And I'm delighted to hear that Andreas' research has been recognized with this award. Along with my colleague, Nils Metternich, I supervised Andreas' PhD thesis. And it was a pleasure and a privilege really from, from the very beginning to work with Andreas. Andreas is an exceptional researcher who holds himself to high standards and the thesis reflects that. It asks important questions about how institutional engineering in the form of different power sharing arrangements can reduce the chances of armed conflict. It demonstrates wide reading across several distinct bodies of literature, masterfully integrating them to develop an original argument. A central contribution of the thesis is, is the pacifying effect of ethnically based corporate power sharing versus its liberal alternative, paying attention to how specific institutional arrangements affect both elites and masses, majority and minority groups, and in the short term as well as the long term. The research design is ambitious, making use of a new DOE global data set covering institutionalized power sharing arrangements at the group level from 1945 to the present, and this was a massive data collection effort. Now in the thesis, Andreas also collates a number of attitudinal surveys to investigate arguments, causal mechanisms or intermediate steps, showing how institutional arrangements affect both grievances and ethnic identification. And, and I think this is where Andreas really stands out. The argument is put to the test in every possible way, giving us confidence in him as a researcher, giving us confidence in the findings. So Andreas is a very, very worthy recipient of this uh, award, and I'm delighted to hear that uh, his work was uh, recognized this way. Well, thank you, um, Kristen. Um, my name is Niels Maternik. I'm also a professor at um, University College London, and I was also a supervisor to Andreas. And Yes, it's a real privilege for, for Andreas to receive this prize. And I just wanted to say a few words beyond what the committee can see. The committee can judge the excellent work and the outstanding academic effort 
that has that Andreas has put into this. But I think it's also very important for the community to recognize that Andreas is an outstanding academic who really contributes to the research environment. So how he contributed at UCL um, in different research groups, how he handled himself as a very humble uh, researcher and contributing to the work of others by helpful feedback and reflecting upon what other people um, were doing. And so I think uh, bringing in these sort of academic values in addition to his outstanding academic work, I think makes him a very worthy winner of this prize. And I'm, I'm very proud of his achievement. I'm also on behalf of our department more generally. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot for uh, your kind comments, uh, everyone. And uh, so I'm very uh, pleased and uh, flattered to receive this prize. And I'm very happy about the recognition for the dissertation, but also for the wider uh, research uh, program that the dissertation is part of. And I find it very encouraging also for my future work on this research area. But I mean, I would really like to stress that this is a very collective achievement also. So I profit a lot from the uh, excellent supervision I got from Christine and Niels, who uh, offered constant uh, uh, supervisory meetings, which really forced me to think hard and also work hard during the uh, PhD. Um, and as a result, uh, that made uh, every pleasant aspect of writing the dissertation even more pleasant. And I also profited a lot from the excellent environment at University College London. So it wasn't only a, a great place to do research, but it was also a superb social environment, which uh, offered a lot of support, support also during the stressful phases of writing this dissertation. And so in the dissertation, I kind of proceed from the observation that uh, ethnic conflict is still, uh, still imposes devastating costs across many divided places. And I proceed from the observation that institutionalizing power sharing practices uh, is a widely propagated measure, but often it remains unclear how to precisely institutionalize these beneficial practices and kind of reap their benefits. And so this is where the dissertation departs and uh, seeks to investigate how different types of power sharing affect the conflict risks for uh, different group types. Uh, so including also groups that remain excluded from power sharing and also the majority group whose rule is circumscribed by power sharing. And it seeks to do so for uh, both the short and long-term time horizons. And the big uh, uh, endeavor that Christine already mentioned was the data collection. So uh, this was based on uh, more than 700 constitutional texts, which I uh, manually screened and coded, and which as a result enables me to uh, quantitatively examine how different types of power sharing affect conflict risks for uh, different groups in uh, around the world. And I would say the implications of the findings uh, highlight that uh, there's uh, important trade-offs between different uh, options to institutionalize power sharing, and they highlight that there's no uh, easy institutional fix that is simply transferable from one place to the other. And uh, together that uh, really underlines the importance of uh, thinking about the consequences of institutionalizing power sharing in one way or the other, and also thinking about the uh, side effects that such a decision may have for different types of groups and across different time horizons. Um, and so for these reasons, I see this as a great recognition and encouragement, uh, both for my past and uh, future work. And I also see it as very encouraging for my current uh, postdoc project. Uh, so currently I'm based at ETH Zurich in the International Conflict Research Group, where I uh, conduct a uh, project that examines the consequences of institutionalizing power sharing on uh, majority backlashes against minority accommodation. And so this is really a direct continuation of this dissertation and I still profit from uh, all the support and input I received at UCL. So uh, thanks a lot to everyone for your kind words and uh, for your support throughout the process, Christine and Niels, and uh, all the encouraging feedback. Thanks so much. 
Jean Blondel, PhD, Price Jury, is very happy to award the 21 edition to Andreas Fuhrn. We truly hope that this dissertation will not only serve theory and science, but also society. And um, I would like to conclude on what one of the jury members wrote in um, the final report, which was, it's a major comparative contribution to studies of power sharing arrangements, having the global ambition that Blondel would have approved of. What else? could be like to hope for with such a price. Congratulations.